Oh, look, there's monkeys. about keeping hold of my camera because it's supposed to be right little rubbing <laughs> so good morning today is our last day in Kuala Lumpur our last full day at least and we're going to the Batu Caves which is uh, a Hindu shrine located just outside I think it's about eight kilometers outside of the city Shiv why is it called Batu Caves I'm gonna give you three choices is it one it's named after the Batu River which flows past Two, it's got around 100,000 bats living deep within, and Batu is the Malaysian word for bat. Or is it three, Batu is the Malaysian word for stone or rock, and it derives its name from that. The third one. Eh, eh. It's number one, the Batu River flows past. It's one of the main things to do in Kuala Lumpur, so we thought we can't leave without seeing it, so let's go. LRT system here is well efficient. I don't know why we don't have something like this in Manchester. It seems like every major city in the world has a mint underground system. This one's just as good. It's dead efficient. It's dead simple. We need to get this sort of stuff in Manchester. So you want to go to the KTM uh, tickets counter at KL Central and there you can get a one-way train ticket to Batu Caves. They don't do returns. You then you have to buy another single ticket on your way back. How much did it come to, Shiv? 520, 520 ringgit, which is a pound. No return, just one. Okay, thank you. This time we got yellow tokens. We're outside the Batu Caves. Behind me is a big statue that's dedicated to the Hindu god, Lord Marugan. So, Shiv, next trivia. Okay. This god, is he? A, the god of monkeys, who's also the god of animals, but can transfigure himself into a monkey. Okay. B, the god of creation, who wields a hammer and sickle and rides a cloud. Or C, the god of war, who rides a peacock and wields a bow. Correct. Here he is pictured. Inset. Peacock, yeah, I know. I was thinking, what I think is, if you're going to be a god of war, it's not the most masculine or powerful of animals to ride, is it? You might go for something like a rhino or, I don't know, an elephant or something, but a peacock. Loads of pigeons knocking around. Apparently, it's a tourist attraction here. Not in Manchester, it's a pest. We're at a market just in front of the Batu Caves. There's plenty of food options. We're a bit hungry, so we're going to get something um, famous around Malaysia, especially Kuala Lumpur, called Roti Kanai. It's an Indian dish, and it's sort of a big naan bread with different dips to dip in. So this is Roti Kanai. It's thicker than the sort of naans we get in England. It's, it's more doughy. <laughs> Really nice though. We've got three different sauces. One's like a yogurt sauce. It's like a yogurt sauce. This one's mild and this one's spicy. We've also ordered the banana leaf meal set, which is basically rice, um, certain different looks like pickled vegetables and poppadons uh, wrapped in a banana leaf. What do you think about the, the roti can I? This is pretty good too. What does it taste like? What does the veg taste like? Kura. Just like a nice, normal kura. It's like a normal kura. Green beans, they are. Are they green beans? Curried green beans. I think the proper way to eat Indian food is to eat with your fingers. Um, but we're not that brave, so we're just going to eat with a fork and a spoon, I think. Just had two things there, roti kanai and the banana leaf set. And our in total cost us, oh, and two coke, and in total it cost us 16 RM, which is just under 
women, not even men, just that randomly stopped Shiv and asked for a picture. I don't know if it's because she had that thing on her head and she looks a bit daft. I do look daft, but I'm not oh, because. Filing up today, I mean. <laughs> Might have just been because she's white, I think. Oh, look, there's monkeys. Oh. Yeah. A bit dubious about keeping hold of my camera because it's supposed to be right, little Robin. <laughs> so. Top of the first staircase, and I'm already tired. This guy's got some energy. What is with everyone sprinting? Oof. Done some distance there. Shiv needs a breather. Climbed about 20 steps. Only about 500 more to go. This bloke having to carry his door up. You've got him, haven't you? Couldn't afford a rabies vaccine, so we're being super extra careful with these monkeys. Apparently you're not supposed to stop and look at them because they will jump and rob some off you. So this little <laughs> was standing so still on that podium, I thought he was the podium. So I'm reaching my hand out like this, about to grab it. And Shiv says, Matt, you're about to touch a monkey. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so the cave's about 400 million years old. The steps obviously aren't there man-made. Don't know how many there is. I'll find out the count and put it down here, but whatever it is, it's way too many. Chicken knocking about in the cave. <laughs> so apparently at one point, uh, a couple of hundred years ago, this cave was somewhere where people came to farm guano and sell it, which is back droppings because they're apparently worth a lot of money. If anyone's ever watched Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls, then you'll probably already know that from that film. This guy looks like my dad in the 70s. Oh, chicken man's back. Whoa. Guys get hold of the chicken. What is going on? Back at the train station going towards KL Central. Uh, we've got to wait for a while now because the train's not going to be here for another half an hour or so. Little tip, trains will come every 45 minutes so check the timetable before you get here because otherwise you don't want to be sat around at the train station waiting around for the train to arrive. Just spend a bit more time at the temple. I tell you, you can see the temple and everything around here in about an hour and a half so you don't need longer than that. So what would you give it out of 10? About two games. Six. Six. I thought it was pretty good, I'd give it an eight to you a bit harsh. Back on the train now, going back to our hostel. Tomorrow we leave for Cameron Highlands, so make sure you tune in and watch us as we travel through to there. And also leave a like and a comment if you like the video. Please subscribe so you can join us on our journey. She's feeling a bit tired, I think. A lot of steps, very tiring day out. You should definitely try it. See you tomorrow.